Okay, welcome back. Uh, here's our last exercise using the exponential probability distribution. This one now is uh, starting to touch on the relationship a little bit more specifically between the Poisson probability distribution and the exponential probability distribution. So here we're looking at the uh, growth of emails and text messaging. It's so difficult to focus on anything for anything for time. I always, when I'm making my videos, I've got my phone, my ringer turned off because otherwise there's emails, there's phone calls, there's text messages. Although I'm exaggerating, I don't, uh, I'm not that popular, but it can happen, right? You get interrupted all the time with these things. So as a young and popular undergraduate student, so this is obviously you, not me, your phone is chirping an average of 20 times per hour because of all these messages from your friends. So that follows a Poisson distribution, right? I, I'm receiving 20 yeah, text messages per month, uh, per, sorry, well, yeah, for me, <laughs> 20 per month, for you, 20 per hour. Uh, so it's discrete, right? The number of text messages is a discrete variable. Uh, but now what we want to look at is to translate this into an exponential probability distribution and obtain that probability distribution for the time between texts. So, oh, what's happening here? So I want to, instead of looking at the number of texts per hour, I want to look at the amount of time between texts. So how do we do this? Well, the, the probability distribution for the exponential function, so here we're looking at the density function. This is equal to one over mu uh, times e to the negative x over mu. So we've got that that's on your formula sheet or you've memorized it or something. So how do we then translate this information that follows a Poisson distribution so that we can use the exponential probability distribution? Well, there's different ways that we can go about doing it. 20 times per hour uh, is my, 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 my average number of texts. So if I'm getting 20 texts per hour, it means that the average time, so let me just, this is 20 per hour, well, it means that the average amount of time between them, I'm taking the reciprocal, this is going to be hours over 20, or 1 20th of an hour between each text, right? If I get 20 texts in one hour, then the average number of time between texts is 1 20th of an hour, which happens to be 3 minutes. So if I'm getting, again, repeating myself, if I get 20 texts in an hour, it's an average of three minutes between each of these texts. So there's my mu. Uh, this is 1 20th of an hour, which is three minutes. So there's my average. So this then becomes 1 over 3 e to the negative x over 3. Now this is in minutes, right? So this is x is number of minutes between texts. Now, we could actually keep this in hours. If I wanted to say that that mean is 1 20th of an hour, that would work too. And, and we, so we don't have to worry uh, about changing the units if we don't want to, if it's too confusing, uh, we don't have to. We'll get exactly the same uh, responses, the same probabilities, if I say my mean is 1 20th of an hour, this becomes 1 over 1 20 times e to the negative x, and this is 1 over 20. So we can rewrite this. This is going to be 20 e to the negative 20 x, where x now is hours. Am I losing hours between texts? So we can change the units if we want to. We will get exactly the same probabilities so long as we're consistent. So I'm going to, I'm going to work in minutes. I find it's a little bit easier to work with, so I'm just going to get rid of all of this business. And I'm going to define x as the number of minutes between texts because that's how we've got everything here. 15 minutes and five minutes. It's just it's easier to work with than, you know, 15 minutes would be uh, one quarter of an hour. So we'd have to convert everything. So let's stick in minutes. Now, here we want to calculate probabilities. So we need that cumulative probability function, which 
we can just scribble down here the probability of obtaining a value less than some specified value is 1 minus e to the negative x over mu and in this case I know what mu is so this is 1 minus e to the negative x mu here is 3 so there we have our cumulative um, probability function so we can answer uh, so there's part a we've already answered part a there's all of this business over here Part B, what is the probability you will receive no text message during a 15 minute period? So let me just draw, here's this exponential function. We have a mean of three minutes. So what's the probability you will receive no text message during a 15 minute period? So here we're looking at some value 15. Now the question is, are we wanting to calculate this probability here? Or are we wanting to calculate this probability here? Is it a lower half or the upper? I shouldn't say half, the lower portion or the upper portion. Well, remember, the way that we've defined our variable is that x is the number of minutes between texts. So if I want to calculate the probability I receive no text message during a 15 minute period, then it means that I want to calculate what's the probability of that interval between texts being something greater than 15 minutes. So I'm looking at this area up here. Now, of course, this function, this equation, is giving us the lower portion. So that's going to give us this probability down here. So then in order to calculate the probability that the interval, the time interval, is greater than or e greater than or equal to 15 minutes this is going to be 1 minus the probability that it's less than or equal to 15 minutes and so this is going to be 1 minus I'm going to input our, our uh, cumulative probability function this is 1 minus e to the negative 15 over 3 and of course these ones this is one minus one so that disappears and this negative makes this a positive so all i have to calculate is e to the negative 15 over 3. and so here i'm going to have this is negative 15 divided by 3 raise that up there and i have 0 0.0067 let's call it 0 0.007 we'll just round it 0.007 all right Let me double check myself 007 good so very small very small chance that i'll be able to go a 15 minute period without receiving uh, a text message in my case it'd probably be a lot higher a lot higher but for this popular student very small chance of going 15 minutes without receiving a text Next, C, what is the probability that the next text message will be received within five minutes? So now we're looking at that interval between texts. So I just received a text. When's the next one going to be? So that interval is five minutes or less within five minutes. So now my value of interest is moved over here. Five, and I want to know that interval is going to be less than five minutes. So let me just clear up some space here get rid of all this nonsense and then we're going to go through the same calculation although it's actually a little bit easier because we're, we want to calculate that lower portion of the distribution so this is going to be the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 that interval is 5 minutes or less so this is then 1 minus e to the negative 5 over 3 and let's see here that calculator so 1 minus uh, brackets negative 5 over 3 base e equals 0 0.81 811 Does that make sense is that good good so fairly high chance that the next text will be received within that five minute interval
Okay, so this problem gives us a little bit of an insight as to the relationship between the Poisson probability distribution, the discrete probability distribution, and this one, uh, the exponential, which is sort of the continuous version of it. So we can move back and forth. Here I have a variable that follows a Poisson probability distribution. And now we can talk about it in terms of the continuous variable in this case, in terms of the, uh, the time interval, the, the time between events rather than the number of events. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. Uh, you can start to get in some interesting problems now. Uh, lots of interesting tools at our disposal with these different distributions now. So hopefully that was uh, of use. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.